that each one is supporting another. These are not matters to say, if you do not come on my pathway, then you have gone onto a deviant pathway. It's not that. And subhanAllah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned, and you, will, you have, must have come across the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa that this ummah, that, that, that the uh, Banu Israel, or the Jews, they split into how many sects? 71. And the Christians? 72. And this ummah will split into? 73 different sects. 73 different ones. And Rasulullah said, Kulluhum fin nar, all of them will be in the fire except for one. And they said, Messenger of Allah, which one is that? He said, Ma ana alayhi wa ashabi, the one I am on and the one my companions are on. Now everyone knows the hadith, it's in Tirmidhi. Right? The hadith is, you know, it's, it's a good sound sort of hadith. But the problem is in understanding what is meant by the 72 and what is meant by the one. These 72 and this one is, you know, they are not just one group. My brothers and my sisters, please understand this carefully. And any sheikh and any imam tells you differently, I am telling you and I can challenge that person that he or she is wrong in their understanding. What we understand from this hadith is very clearly that if you were to now count today from the beginning of Rasulullah's time until today, trying to count the number of groups, <coughs> if you in fact started today just counting today's groups, you will run out of 73. You will have more than 73. You're going to run into the hundreds. In fact, Imam Shahrastani, who had a book of Aqidah, Al-Milal wal Nihal. In there, there's more than the mention of 300 groups. Just in that time, this was about 300 years after the Prophet. 300 groups. Now, you're going to now say to me, Well, how is it that the Prophet mentions that there's going to be 72 different groups and now we find there's thousands of groups? Well, the answer to that one is simple. When the Prophet said that there's going to be 72 groups, he meant 72 major groups. Under each one of these 72, there are several subdivisional groups. And they all come under this one group. For example, those people who deviated in terms of ibadah, in terms of worship, they will become one large group. Under there, you're going to get this ism and that ism and this thingy and that item, this item, this one. There will be hundreds coming until the Day of Judgment. Those people who deviated with regards to the Prophet ﷺ being the last Prophet. And they said that Prophet ﷺ after him there is another Prophet. Rasulullah himself said, there will be 30 great liars in my Ummah, 30. All 30 of these will have a group each, true or not? All 30 will have a group each. They all 30 come under one big umbrella which is the deviancy of believing in another prophet after the Prophet It's one big umbrella. Under there, there's several different groups that will come. Like this, every deviancy, every kind of deviancy, if you count them up, it'll come to 72. Now, when you come to the one, which is the correct path, the one which Rasulullah said, I am on that and my companions are on that. When you come to that one pathway, you can't tell me that that's going to be just one group. You're going to have to also believe that that is going to be a large umbrella. And underneath that umbrella, there's going to be hundreds of smaller umbrellas. Do you agree or disagree with me? Come on, guys. Do you agree or disagree with me? Uh, you're already 50-50. I'll wait until the Q&A, yeah? You've got a chance at Q&A time. If you want to disagree with me on this. Because if today you don't allow half of these parties that do not fall... <coughs> under a disagreement with a major part of, major fundamental part of the religion. If you start calling all of these kafirs, you're going to end up messing up the whole deen and you're going to end up contradicting this hadith. And I'll come to which groups, some of the groups that have been mentioned under this, right? According to this, if I just look, you know, there's, there's so many that have been, you know, Sufi, Shafi, Maturidi, Hanafi, Wahhabi, Maliki, Athari. What's Athari? For you. Who, who did this poster? I, said, yeah. I, was, I was looking at this, I was thinking, I haven't come across that one yet, but it doesn't matter. Uh, don't know the problem. Ahl Hadith, Hanbali, Dawbandi, Jamaati, Brelvi, Madkhali. What's that one? 
madkhali ikhwani tablighi salafi and ashari i don't know the, the the two three i said i'm not quite familiar with but the rest of them i'm familiar with according to my belief all of these will come under that one umbrella now you're gonna say uh, uh, he can't be next to me he can't go away from me he stink he's actually the stink his praise different to me he holds his hand there i hold my hand there we can't be on the right track Shake is wrong. Now wait, I'm going to minute before you just jump out and just walk away from the masjid and then not listen to another word I'm saying. Sorry to the brother who has a need to go, yeah? <laughs> before you do that, I've got to explain myself clearly. I've got to explain myself clearly. Some of these jamaats that have been mentioned here have got a difference in jurisprudence. And some of these some of these ones that you see here have got a difference in reviving the ummah there's two different groups here there's some difference in jurisprudence some in difference in reviving the ummah and some in difference in aqidah there's the three major branches you can see in all of these right for example or, or, or the fourth one i may say is a is a um, discipline of knowledge for example shafi'i hanafi malik maliki ahl hadith uh, perhaps Wahhabi as well uh, uh, and Salafi as well. All of these have got difference in jurisprudence. Okay, the ones that have got difference in Aqidah, you can see Ashari, Maturidi, um, perhaps uh, the uh, Ahl Hadith, maybe in that one as well, maybe Salafi as well in certain aspects. They've got a difference in Aqidah. And the ones you see, for example, Ikhwani, Tablighi, Brelvi, Jamati, and so on and so forth, they've got a different opinion in revive, how to revive the Ummah. And we're going to deal with these three, in these three different separate matters. They all, I said, fall under the umbrella that is Ana Alayhi Wa Ashabi, the one I am on and my companions are on, for example. 